Gold and silver bars are unique in every sense of the world. Therefore, they have to be used carefully, lest they get depleted. However, it is unfortunate that their demand keeps going up while the main wars somehow are getting depleted. Therefore, despite the increase in the level of demand, some gold and silver have to be preserved for the future and their use. This explains the reason some gold and silver bars are used in international reserve. Therefore, they are used to rebalance the payment of the countries that hold them. Gold bullion is a mere placeable form of precious metals for the market. Whether it is used as a raw material investment product or value reserve, its role is huge. Regarding how to make gold bars, there are two types, traditional gold bar casting method and a vacuum gold bar casting method. The traditional gold bar making method is the most widely used, commonly found in the miners or mining companies. Gold can be purified by heating gold to a certain temperature and turning it into a liquid, adding appropriate flux. After removing impurities, the gold liquid is directly poured into the mold and are cooled to bars. After the gold is cooled and shaped, use a hydraulic process to logo and a stem, the gold nuggets. Such a gold nuggets can be used for marketing. The casting of vacuum gold bar is usually done in a refinery because they usually need to produce gold bullion with very good surface quality and very bright. People usually prefer to buy such a gold. When the refining is completed, the gold is placed in a granulator, through which is made into small granules for the weighting. Place the gold granules in the bar mold and finally place the mold in a vacuum bar casting machine. Under the protection of vacuum and internet gas, it can avoid gold oxidation, shrinkage and a water ripples on the surface. After casting, place the gold nuggets under the logo stamping machine to press out the required patterns and the text. Then use dot pin marketing machine to number the gold bars. Gold can be concentrated and recovered by applying different gold refining process. And the final product has variable quality. For many years, the term bullion made reference to coins, and the name base bullion is a four pig lead of copper bottom, obtained in a smelting operation of lead and a copper concentrators. The last product is characterized for containing small amount of gold and a silver. The treatment of this product depends on the metallurgical extrinsic process of lead and a copper.
Once performed the retouring process, the product obtained is heated in a furnace in the presses of the slag, forming fluxes at temperature over the melting point of all the components of the change, commonly between 1150 to 1450 degrees Celsius. This operation is performed for around 2 hours to ensure complete separation of impurities for the precious metal. Gold and a silver form an alloy that is a heavier than the slag and sinks to the bottom of the furnace. Once the smelting is complete, the slag is removed and the precious metal are casted in the ingots. The slag contains gold and silver and must be in order to minimize the losses of the precious metal. A very important element in the smelting process is the flux, which is added to charge in order to remove base metals and other impurities from the door bar. The mixing of the charge and fluxes has to be done in ventilated areas. A good practice is to vacuum the flux and charge from the retort pans either directly into the furnace or into a hopper that will fit the mixture into the crucible. In this way, personnel will not be in direct contact with the flux on any radial or mercury vapor. In general, the flux and the retorting products must be mixed with safety. The flux is a mixture of several region chemicals such as a borax, silica, sodium nitrate, sodium carbonate, and a flower spare. Borax is a white crystalline mineral used in a glass and a ceramic animal mixes. In a smelting process, borax helps to reduce the gold smelting point of the charge and capture metallic oxidize. The addition of the region must be controlled, otherwise the slag will be extremely hard and non-homogeneous. Other negative effect is to avoid the separation of phases into the molten charge. Silica is an acid flux and reacts with a metallic oxidized forming stable silicates. Excessive addition creatures slags with a high viscosity and metallic oxidized are not trapped with efficiency. Normally the borax for silica ratio is a 2 on 1. Sodium nitrate is oxidant for iron, copper and zinc. When the charge is near 500 degrees Celsius, sodium nitrate produces oxygen. Sodium carbonate is alkaline flux, whose melting point is 850 degrees Celsius, and reacts with a silica forming sodium silicate. The latter reacts with oxidized and produces other oxidized compounds. Sodium carbonate must be added with a caution, due to excessive addition of creatures sticky slags that are difficult to remove. Flower spare modifies slag viscosity because modified is silicate form during the smelting process. An excessive addition attacks the crucible and reduces borax action and metallic oxidants. There are many types of jewelers, and most of them are made from precious metals, such as a gold and a silver. Therefore, it is obvious that gold and a silver bars play a central role in ensuring that such a products are available for customers who need them. Gold and a silver are the few precious metals that have been there for several decades. Though traditional metals were used to mine the hours back then, the situation has changed thanks to improved technology.